this is one of my favorite hockey books. And so this book is simply called Jacques Plante, and it is by Todd Denault, um, who you may have heard his name coming up a lot. He is an extraordinary journalist um, and writer and has written a lot of really uh, wonderful and important hockey books. Um, like I said, he wrote The Greatest Game about the um, 72 Summit series. He wrote this book. Um, sorry, I knocked the computer off the table. Um, um, anyway, this is the book that we are currently talking about. Oh, there you go. Jacques Plant. Um, Jacques Plant was, I think, inarguably, the most important goalie um, in hockey history. I think he certainly had the most long-lasting effect. Um, for those of you who don't know, Jacques Plant is the goalie who invented the goalie mask. Um, he basically one day in practice, he had been injured, and he was like, why am I putting my body in front of pucks? We're not even in a game. Um, so he put this mask on, and originally it was just a practice mask, and then he was like, well, I want to wear it in games. And his coach Mike, was like, no. And Jack Plant was like, then I'm not playing. And so he got his way. And now goalies wear masks. So thank you, Jacques. Um, but he, yeah, so he was, in, he was another incredibly well-spoken, incredibly intelligent man um, who loved the game. He wrote his own book called On Goaltending, um, which was used for a really long time um, as kind of the go-to. I don't know enough about goaltending coaches now to know if it's still in the library, but um, it's definitely uh, worth checking out. I have a copy um, that I have read, but again, as not an athlete, I can't really speak to how good it is for your game now. Hey, young goalies out there. I'm going to read a little excerpt. I'm actually going to read two excerpt because I... One excerpt will tell you a little bit about Jacques Plante, and one excerpt is hilarious. So this one is from my favorite post-it, which just says, girls want to see faces with a bunch of question mark, and goes to show that don't feel bad, the hockey and sports media has never understood what women want. So this isn't a new thing, 2014. Before I start reading, I just want to say, I know that I have an abominable pronunciation of all Quebecois names, um, and Russian, and German, and anything that is not obviously North American, so I apologize, I will do my best, but... <laughs> Blake was certain the mask would be discarded when Plant's injuries healed. He firmly believed that Plant was a weak goaltender when wearing the mask. Blake was not alone in his thinking. In the Rangers' dressing room after the game, their general manager, Muzz Patrick, expressed his op opposition to Plant or any other goalie wearing a mask on the novel grounds that female fans wanted to see the faces of players. I'm against helmet and masks, said Patrick. We start out with goalies wearing masks. Every club is a defenseman or two who goes down to smother shots. Soon they will all want masks. All the forwards will wear helmets. The teams will become faceless, headless robots, all of whom are look alike to the spectators. We can't afford to take that fan appeal from hockey. So there you have it, ladies. The female gaze was being catered to for once. That's nice. Well, um, one of the things, I'm, I chose this passage that I'm about to read to you. Um, which, by the way, has the post-it that just says, Oh, Jacques, please. Um, because I know that for me, I get a lot of anxiety when goaltenders leave the goal crease. And I just, I feel like I'm sure that you know something I don't, but I still am really anxious. Um, and so Jacques Plant was very famous for just constantly leaving the goal crease. Like, constantly. Um, and so this is a little explanation of why he did it. Um... For all the controversy that the tote created, it paled next to Jacques' endless habit of leaving the confines of his goal and roving after the puck. Traditionally, goalies let the puck come to them. Plant was the first goaltender to go after the puck. He was labeled wandering by many in the media, and his coming out and playing the puck provoked tremendous debate in hockey circles. Throughout his life, Plant always maintained that his roving in search of the puck was not a sign of genius or innovation, but instead born of necessity, a requirement of playing behind a porous group of defenders. Our four defensemen all had flaws, Plant later explained. One couldn't skate backwards, one couldn't turn to his left, one couldn't turn to his right, and the fourth couldn't pass the puck accurately to our blue line. Somebody had to clear the loose puck, so I started doing it myself. Because it worked and I felt it helped the team, I continued to do it right up into the NHL. Thanks, Jacques. So again, um, that was just called Jacques Plant um, by Todd Denault, and I really recommend it. If you like goalies, if you like hockey history, if you like people being salty and getting their way because they refuse to do anything else, this book is for you.